Hello YouTube, it's Will Carroll TV4. What I want to talk to you is about Legend of Zelda games. Well, first of all, we all know that Spirit Tracks is better than Phantom Hourglass in many ways. The leading reason is because the Tower of Spirits, which is a lot like the Ocean Temple, does not have the Phantom Hourglass rocks well and it's also a little bit harder but I understand the reason why I'm not I'm not talking about the ocean temple slash tower of spirits I'm talking about the rail slash sea tracks on on the sea you can pretty much just you just ride it and then you just do it but but in Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, you have to turn, and there are less mazes than Phantom Hourglass, because, well, Phantom Hourglass just has, this, like, one maze, I think, where you, like, go to the Aqua Temple or whatever. Well, I think that's the only one. Well, I haven't been in the game, so... Now, let's talk about the new Legend of Zelda games. Well... Well... The next one, I believe, is called The Legend of Zelda, The Dark Sword. Obviously, it is about some type of dark sword. I I think it's not going to be like Toon Link and Toon Zelda and all those people. Because, though, because I have to admit, even the original arcade games are a bit better than the tunes. Well, well in some ways, but... Well, all we know, well, all I really know is it probably has Link, Zelda, and maybe Ganondorf. And it's obviously about a dark sword. Well, I, what I'm guessing it is about, it is that Ganondorf resurrects Maladus and gives it the Master Sword, turning it into the Dark Sword. And for those of you who haven't beaten Spirit Tracks or Phantom Hourglass, Maladus is the Demon King. So, I think that's what that's gonna happen. I think so. Don't so don't go like Bill Carroll TV four. You suck. You lied to us or any of that crap. So, I so I really want to know more about the Dark Sword. And if you know anything about it, please tell me. Come on, Ed. Sorry, that's my babysitter walking my dog. Oh. Hey, Thanks. Girl. Bye.